This is one of the many unofficial migrant camps on the outskirts of Dunkirk. We were told by humanitarian workers they tend to be segregated. Afghans living down the tracks, Albanians a growing number but seemingly elusive. This one mostly Kurdish and mostly young men escaping war or persecution in Iraq. I am Dana from Iraq. I was a 40 year old, I work in Baghdad when Saddam take me in jail and take one kidney for me in left side. But nobody need to say, yeah, you are Dana, you are lay. Everybody asked to me, you are not this person. This person is dead in Iraq. But I am not dead, I am here. And no, I come here to France two weeks. I try to go with boat to England. You tried three times yeah, on the boats, times. and what happened? He take me in the beach where I go to in the boat. Okay. There I come back. I no go to. I no go inside the boat. <laughs> but you're still going to try. Of course. Why the UK? Do you want to work in the UK? I like work. Everybody like work on merit on make children. What, on. what what kind of jobs can you do? This is my job. <laughs> so that's and that's that's your forklift driver's yeah, yes, license forklift. from Germany. Yes, I work two years. Okay, I work very well. Okay. And yes. how many times will you keep trying on the boat? I stay here. Or I go dead here, or the, I go in UK. Okay. I no have choice. A 15-minute drive, or if you're a migrant, two-hour walk away at beaches like this, Plage du Petit. Two-hour walk from the camp, where desperate people like Dana meet the people smugglers, but only during calm seas. Today wasn't that day. This boat looks like it's been deliberately torn, ripped, and we know that the authorities in France try to destroy the boats if they find them by stabbing them and shredding them with a knife. So quite possibly this boat was going to be used to cross the channel, but the authorities have got here first. Everyone here wants to get to the UK. Many have tried multiple times. A lot of Albanian men are now going on over on the boats. How do you feel about Albanian men being here? Because you're coming from Iraq, but they can't, Albania is a safe country. Yes, uh, I ask also for yeah. the Albanian, why are you coming? They're saying we no have work there. And are they going to the UK to get involved in crime or to or to work? For Albania, it's, there is work is number one. What to thinking for? Yeah. The British people are scared of people coming over yeah, on boats. Would I you know. say what would you say to them to people who are scared? I I have to say for the people, I am sorry for this situation, but. In Unser land is problem mafia in my land. It's not a good government as England. British people have right. That's scary for the people going there because give too much criminal. This Kurdish family of eight were standing up because most of their tents were full of water. They told me they were 20 minutes from Dover when they had to turn back on their last attempt. Among them, eight-month-old Mila. Rats are everywhere here. Disease is common. Life, especially in winter, difficult. One migrant told me he'd rather stay here than be deported to Rwanda if the government gets its way. But others said anywhere is better than these camps. The UK, attractive because the language is easier. There are jobs and some have family there. There's this weird symmetry that 82 years ago, during the evacuation of Dunkirk, a flotilla of small boats left this French coastline for Britain. It was a moment of hope for us that as allies we would regroup and then come back to liberate the French in Western Europe. It's weird that 82 years later, there's the, another flotilla of small boats leaving the French coast for Britain. And for some in those boats, it's a moment of hope for them. And it's that hope that the criminal gangs are exploiting. In the meantime, the boats keep coming. Paul Hawkins, GB News.